Good afternoon. I'm Jorge Ortega, and I will serve as the moderator for today's media briefing live from the United Nations Plaza. Welcome to today's live stream discussion on the state of Latinas in business, their strength in economic contribution and purchasing power, as well as the importance of advancing economic opportunities for all women in the U.S. Thank you for joining us. We will have the opportunity to speak with Nelly Galan, founder of the Adelante Movement and Latina business leader, who's fresh off the delivery of her moving keynote address at the United Nations headquarters on the importance of Latinas as part of the United States Chamber of Commerce International Women's Day Forum. Nelly will be sharing the highlights of that speech and why she's passionate about the Adelante Movement, a program she founded and is part of the Coca-Cola Company's Global Women's Empowerment Initiative 5x20. We also will be speaking with Alba Adamo, Group Director of Hispanic Marketing for the Coca-Cola Company. A true Latina businesswoman, Alba started her career in the hospitality industry, eventually joining the Coca-Cola Company where today she leads the company's Hispanic marketing efforts. Alba will be discussing exactly why Coca-Cola has embarked upon the 5x20 initiative and why it's so important for the future of this country. Now a little on the rules of engagement for the live stream. I will moderate the session with Nelly and Alba. We ask that you submit your questions via the chat box. I'll be seeing those on my iPad and following the discussion, we'll share your questions with Nelly and Alba. We look forward to hearing what you have to say throughout the discussion. Please use the chat box to send in your questions throughout. Don't wait till the end. We'll get through as many questions as possible. However, if you feel you'd like to email us afterwards, use coke at newlink-group.com to send us a note. So let's get started. Ladies, thank you very much for being here today. Our first question is for Nelly. Please tell us about your speech today at the United Nations. How was that? Well, first of all, it's just very exciting to be at the United Nations. I want all my Latinas to be at the United Nations. It's, it's part of this country, and we belong in this country, and we need to be part of the United Nations. And I think that was the story today. I mean, this was an event for global women. We heard a lot about women around the world. And it was so incredible for me to represent Latinas in the U.S. and explain that in a first world country, we have an emerging market that also requires attention and love and to be part of something like this. And so for me, the most important thing about the whole thing was being able to represent the voice of all my Latinas, and I hope that in the future, they can all come with me to the United Nations where they belong. What's the message that you want to send to Latinas in our community? Well, you know, Latinas know, they know that I'm always telling them, adelante, we've, don't buy shoes, buy buildings, and go get your own chips. I'm all about Latinas owning things, owning their life, being self-made. Um, and, and I really tried to explain that today at the UN, that we need help to do that that all the different constituencies that were there at the United Nations, that the Latinas are the most important group in the United States right now. We are the emerging market. We're the fastest growing entrepreneurs. And our buying power is $1.3 trillion a year. And I want my Latinas to hear that. You are important. You matter. You belong in the United Nations. The United Nations and the constituency of the United Nations needs to know that you're important in this country and that we all have to help you. That's great. I love I know that you've had the opportunity to see Nelly speak to Latino women across the country in the different sessions. Would it, why is her work in Adelante Movement, why is it so important for our community? Well, first of all, is because it's about women. And when we think about women, they are the pillar of our communities. So for us, the partnership with Adelante is about getting ready and ensuring that everyone has the tool, every Latina, to realize their potential in this market. If we think of the U.S. population, the growth of Hispanic is huge. So we want to enable Latinas to have the opportunity to have access to training, to the tools, to everything that is available so that they can succeed and achieve their economic freedom. Amazing. You know, Nelly, there's, um, there's some incredible testimonials of some of the women that have participated in some of the training sessions. Yeah. We have a, uh, a clip of... Um, of Candy Ramirez, Ramirez. Yeah. Yeah. which, which we'd like, like to run and, and show uh, the kind of impact that Adelante has had uh, on the women of our community. So let's run that video and then we're going to come back and talk about Candy. Baking is 
everything to me. I used to do it with my great-grandmother, and now I do it with my children. My name is Candy Ramirez. I am a baker in Tucson, Arizona. I own Candy's Cakes and More. I got pregnant at a young age. I have two jobs, college, helping my parents out. Sometimes it was a struggle trying to get out of bed because you have all these responsibilities on your shoulders being 17, 18 years old. I had to work these two jobs to make ends meet. And I pondered and I figured, uh, you know, well, what the heck am I gonna do? And I just turned to baking and started baking cakes full time. When I barely first started doing cakes in my first year, it was for family, friends, my boys' birthday parties. My motivation has always been my children, my boys. I do everything that I do 100% for them. And being in this journey of this cake industry and um, attending the Adelante Luncheon, um, being a part of the Adelante Movement, I believe that something has woken up inside of me. A sense of empowerment, a sense of unity, a sense of no more fear. Since the Adelante Movement, I learned about marketing and marketing myself and my business. When I did that, my business has just skyrocketed. Hashtag Queen Bee Baker came about after the Adelante movement and um, I wanted to empower other women who were in my shoes when I was in my first year of baking. I started my YouTube channel a couple months ago because I really didn't see a Latina baker take charge and say, hey, I'm gonna show you what I can make. I got a sponsor, a major cake sponsor. Um, celebrities and companies asked for my cake. Ask for my cake. Um, my prices have doubled. I've been able to charge more for my cakes. I've been asked to teach in New York, in Texas. Hopefully I'll own my own show. I'll probably own my own network one day. I think big. What an incredible story. Candy's amazing. Tell us a little I mean, bit of... imagine the women that we meet on the road, like a Candy, that, you know, she's this incredible chef. She makes, you know, like Mexican sombreros as a cake. I mean, she's unbelievable. And these are women that sometimes are working, you know, in their own communities and selling, and they're a little marginalized, you know? They're, they don't know that they can sell to the mainstream, to a lot of people. Um, when I met her and I saw her cake, I was like, this girl should be on Master Chef. What is she, I, I just, I, I knew that we had to like take her and work with her and really help her. And her business has just gone through the roof. So it's been incredible because she really, really started learning how to market herself. We really gave her marketing skills, how to go on social media and market herself, how to take her brand and really turn it into something in Tucson and then eventually do even more with it. Uh, we have her up for a couple of uh, cooking reality shows. Mm -hmm. She's just, she's really extraordinary. And I think a lot of the women uh, of Adelante, when you go on the road, these are women that I feel should be part of the mainstream. You know, I think it's important as Latinas to sell to each other and to sell within our own market because you should start with the people you know. But I also, for me, it's very important to not be marginalized. It's very important for me to say to these women, go be in the mainstream, sell to the mainstream, market yourself in the mainstream. Latino is mainstream. We're not in some corner niche. You know, we're a big part of this country. How did you start this Adelante movement? Why did you start it? And how did the partnership with Coca-Cola uh, happen? Well, Jorge and, and Alba and everyone, as many people know, I've had a very long career in the entertainment business and for me most of those years in the Latino market. I started out as a TV station manager Later on, I ran Telemundo, and later on, I, I've made 700 TV shows in Spanish and English. Um, but I took a sabbatical five years ago. I was very blessed because in all those years, and that's why I tell women, don't buy shoes, buy buildings, 
I bought a lot of buildings. Instead of going on fancy vacations, living bling, you know, I saved all my money and I bought commercial bu uh, buildings. And about five or six years ago, I realized that I, I really could retire. Not that I will, because I'll never retire, but I could. And your whole mind changes when you know, I mean, as an immigrant, when you think, wow, I don't really have to work for a living anymore. I can, now I can really follow my bliss. And I decided that what, if I was gonna die, the one thing I would regret is if I didn't finish school. I didn't finish school when I was younger. And my husband said to me, go to school, give yourself that gift. You know, so many Latinas have the same story, right? They're helping their parents, they're supporting people in their family, and they don't go to school. And I tell the women, that it's never too late to right a wrong of your life. Give yourself that gift. That's a good dream. So I go back to school, and I'm getting a master's and doctorate in psychology, which I finished. Awesome. That was brutal. And in that process, I decide to write my dissertation on Latinas in America and really go deeply into who are they. Because I have to tell you, the reason I did it is because in psychology school, everything about Latinas was negative. Latinas have to go to psych therapy, everything is wrong. And I'm like, that doesn't resonate. I don't think that's right. And at the same time, I got invited to be part of the Coke Advisory Council. And I go on this board, and everything I'm hearing from Coke is, Latinas are the emerging market, Latinas are incredible, they're the fastest growing entrepreneurs, Coke loves them, and I'm going, wait a minute, how could I be getting this other information that frames Latinas so negatively? And that Latinas kind of, that's how they feel. Like, we're not wanted in this country, they want us to go home. You know, our kids, go, you know, our kids come home from school and they're more into like, you know, NBA players and rappers than into our own culture. And, and, then, and then Coke has all this research and they're like in love with Latinas. And I think to myself, oh my God, if anyone in our community can do this, it's me because I've already made money. And when I saw what Coke was doing with 5 by 20 around the world, empowering 5 million women by the year 2020, and I go, I almost felt a little jealous. Like, why can't we do that for Latinas in the U.S.? That's great. That's great. And I went back to Coke, dissertation in hand, and Sandy Douglas, uh, who's the president of Coca-Cola North America and who was the head of the board, I went to him and he's like, you've got our support. And so they've been with me ever since. And it's been a beautiful relationship because it's all about the women. It's all about all of us giving back to Latinas, which I don't see a lot of people doing that. I don't see a lot of people doing tours around the country with not celebrities, with women of substance. What a great partnership. Showing Latinas women of substance, women that really, that we don't ever get to see, that have gone from zero to being a Nobel Peace Laureate. From, you know, Rigoberta Menchu was a cleaning lady for a, for a convent. And the nuns fell in love with her because she worked so hard and they taught her to read and write. And as a result, she wrote a book over many years about all the injustices that were being done to the Guatemalan people. And she, at 30, won the Nobel Peace Prize, the youngest Nobel Peace Prize winner before Malala. And when she came to Adelante and she said, ladies, I was a cleaning lady, and I'm the no youngest Nobel Pre Peace Prize winner. What are you complaining about living in the United States with all this privilege? And it's true, and I feel that way. I feel like we have so many examples. Sandra Cisneros, mm -hmm. who, is a no who has won the MacArthur Genius Award for literature. She's taught in every school in the United States. We should all, off the top of our, of our mouth, know who all of these women are. And nobody's brought them to our attention. Nobody's shown us Rosie Rios, the US treasurer, who signs every bill in this country, and off the top of our head, we don't know her name. Those people are more important than any celebrity we can know. Awesome. And then, we, not just, we don't just show them these people and say, if they could do it, you could do it. We show them how to do it. We show them how to do it. That's what makes it so good. Meat and potatoes. I'm all about meat and potatoes. I don't like blah, blah, blah with no, and, you know, no there, there. Provide right. the tools. Yes. So, so keep sending in the questions. questions. I, I want to ask Alba about 5x20. It's a global commitment of the company. Why is 5x20 so important to the Coca-Cola company? Well, again, it starts all with women, and women are the pillars of our economy. So our chairman made a commitment that we will invest and help 5, 000, 5 million women all the way to 2020. So 5 by 20 is about enabling economic freedom 
for women across the world uh, tied to our value chain. It is an amazing cause. It began in 2010, and now we are in 44 countries planning and developing programs to help women learn the skills that they need, get the tools, get the support so that they can start businesses and achieve their economic success. Now, specifically, and Nelly, feel free to chime in here, what are your objectives for the, Ante the Adelante movement in the United States? Well, first of all, for me being Latina, and um, I came when I was 18 years old, and I had the opportunity to, to start working with Nelly. It is amazing when we think about the Hispanic population and all the Latinas, we are in a first world country but we see that there is this population, this emerging market, which is Hispanics and Latinas that need the tools, that needs the connections, that need the support, that need someone to go and open the door and show them what are the opportunities. So for us, the goal partnering with Nelly and with many others is to ensure that we can help, that we can invest, and that we can make a difference uh, with these women so that they can be part of these five million women that we want to empower by 2020. You know, I think one of the, the keys to this story is when we think about it sort of historically, there's always there's already been a women's movement for white women in America. I mean, I'm the biggest fan of Gloria Steinem, and I, I just admire her so much. And African-American women have had a, a, an empowerment movement, if you will, and a women's movement, you know, maybe 20 years later, right? Latinas, the time is now. Why? In 2008, when the economy crashed, the Latino family was hurt. You know, Latino men lost their jobs, you know? And so what do Latina women care more about than anyone in the world? Their kids, right? So what happened is Latina entrepreneurship kind of went through the roof. Why? Because Latinas will do anything. We'll do anything. We'll have three jobs and start two businesses to help our kids, right? But we're working hard and not smart. We still don't know how the American system works. We don't understand that there's money in the government at the Small Business Administration, uh, in other parts of the government, waiting for us to apply. We don't understand how to go get capital. We don't understand many financial systems that are out there. And so we do have this, even though we're, we're, we're going at it and we're doing it, we need the help to access the information, to understand the American system. A lot of the things that, you know, I'm, I'm not smarter than anybody. What happened to me is that I have worked for, or have, or have had as clients, five billionaires. And so by osmosis, you know, one of my billionaires said to me once, honey, you need to make money while you sleep. And I go, que so? What does that mean? Make money while I sleep. How am I supposed to do that? I was never told that by my parents that I had to, what he was telling me is, you have to make the money, invest the money in something that's going to appreciate over time so that at some point in your life, don't spend money on boberias, don't spend money on silly things, because someday that money that you've invested, which I did in buildings, that's not the only way to do it. You can invest in the stock market, you can, there's many ways and we teach our ladies how to do that. I did it in real estate. That, one day I woke up and the real estate was worth five times more than all the money I had made from all the other businesses I had did that I did combined. That's something no one teaches us, that you've got to think about retirement when you're 20, that you've got to think that, you know, you're not going to have the same energy the whole time of your life. And so these are little things that seem like everybody should know them, but nobody, t our immigrant parents did not tell us that. They're worried about survival. So this is why we're so important and why Adelante is so important for these Latinas. And I do want to mention that we partner with Latino NGOs all over the country. And that's equally as important. I could mm -hmm. not do this alone and Coke couldn't do this with us alone. It's the three. I think you guys it's call the it the golden triangle, the right? The golden triangle, the government, communities, yes. and the private sector Correct. working together. Because okay. if we do these events with Latinas, and I'm working with the Chamber of Commerce in Tucson, like with Candy, Candy is followed up with that Chamber of Commerce. I then call the Chamber of Commerce, like, I have a connection, so these people are not just taught something and dropped. You know, there, there's, there's a, an organization that can hold them. Correct. 
So I think it's the combination of all of us together, working together, which is very much the five by 20 model around the world, that is what, it's why this is working and why it's scaled so quickly and it's been so successful and people are loving it. Well, and I think the other thing is that as other women see the Adelante women doing what they're doing, they know that it can be done. They can see That's it, true. they see that is, they can realize their potential, like Candy's story that I have witnessed so many of those, and it's amazing when you go and they, they go and prove I'm a testimonial, it can be done. So for us, it's the opportunity to partner, to support, and to see the ripple effect has been phenomenal. And you know what's been interesting about the events, and, and Alba will tell you this too, so, you know, a lot of people show up at the events that are not Latina, because, you know, for instance, a lot of Middle Eastern women, a lot of Indian women, a lot of Asian women, a lot of Korean women, a lot of black women, a lot of African, you know, black Latinas. I mean, I don't, I don't think, you know, we didn't even think about all the specific issues that black Latinas have. And so when they show up and they feel like, wow, finally, because they feel between two worlds. Am I African American in the U.S. or am I, you know, Latina? What, what am I? And so dealing, I, I think the key to all of this is doing this work with a cultural filter. Because these women have very specific issues that come from their culture, from their religion, from immigration, from trauma, that we have to deal with too. It's not just, here, let's talk about money without dealing with all this baggage that we're carrying. That's why my, psycholo my psychology degree has come in handy. Very helpful. Well, first of all, thank you very much, uh, Nelly. Uh, as a father of three Latinas, I thank you for what you're doing. Alba, thank you for supporting Adelante. It's a great, great uh, initiative. Um, that's it for today's live stream. We're actually going to uh, take some questions. I want to thank you for uh, what you're doing to communicate the importance of Latina empowerment in this country. It's a, it's a great initiative. So let's take uh, the first question that we have from our, um, from our audience. The first question is, um, in what cities across the country where will the Adelante movement uh, be conducting sessions? Well, we have many that I can tell you about and many more coming. So um, in the next few months, we're going to Arizona. We're going to be in San Diego. We're going to be in Sacramento. We're going to Texas. Um, we're going to Florida, to Orlando this time. Uh, later in the year, we're going to be in Chicago. I'm sure you can expect to see us in Washington and uh, in the New York area as well. I, I say to everybody, please go on the website. We have a slot on the website where you can tell us, please come to our city, because we get asked to come to cities, and, we re and really, um, you can tell us directly that you want us to come, and also tell your NGOs in your city, please invite Adelante to, to partner with us and come, because we get calls every day. So uh, go on the website and the tour, the entire date, all the dates thus far on are on the website, and then you can also request more dates. That's great. Um, we have another question for Marisa in Los Angeles. She wants to know, what would you hope for Latina women in the next five years? You know, I have so many hopes and dreams for Latinas. One of the things that one of the economists of Coke told me once mm -hmm. is like, Nelly, if you do your job right, you should be able to change the economy for Latinas in one generation, which is about 12 years. And, and so at the halfway mark, <laughs> right. I'm hoping that, you know, that so many of our Latinas have started businesses. I really want every Latina to start a business in their house. You know, I started an Amazon bookstore with my son, Lucas, and that way he knows what it's like to make money. He's actually running it. I put the books up and we split the money, 60, 40, 60 to me. <laughs> so if I can do that, and I'm not that good at all that Amazon stuff, my kid helped me. We've done classes for women about how to engage the kids. We all, all we do is work on it two hours a week on Sunday. Everybody doesn't have to go be an entrepreneur tomorrow, but while you're doing what you're doing, this is the first time in history that anonymously you can go and sell the stuff in your closet, your old quinceañera dress, all the stuff you don't want. Make plata, make plata while you sleep and get the kids to help you. Uh, another call from, uh, another, uh, message that we got in the chat from Juan Pablo, who's actually in Puerto Rico, says... A man, we like what men want to know. Yeah, he wants to know how you find the energy to keep going. What motivates you? Wow. I have a lot of energy, but I will tell you what it is. I don't believe you, you can follow your bliss and do what you love till you make money, because we all have to be very responsible. And so to me, 
I am now, everything from here on in is gravy, and I want to do something great that when I die, when I'm a viejita and I die, I know I tried and I made Latinas make money and be rich. Because rich is not a bad word. Uh, the, the next, the the next, next question, question that we have is from Angelina, who's in Phoenix. Maybe she Love knows. That. Maybe, maybe, she knows she, candy. maybe she knows she's candy. She's about two hours away from candy, but maybe. Ang Angelina wants to know if there were three tips that you could give someone who is starting a business, what would it be? Well, in fact, you can go on our website because I did a webinar called The 10 Questions to Ask Yourself Before You Start a Business, and it's a great webinar. So I'll give you a couple tips. Number one, do you have two years worth of salary put away? If not, stop now. Do not start a business yet. What you can do is do what I just said, keep your job and start something on the side and save up to have two years worth of money. Because I guarantee you, you know, not everything goes perfectly and then you're gonna be freaking out and you're gonna give up. Can't give up. So that's a big one. Number two is don't buy shoes, buy buildings. And I, I mean that in that sense as a metaphor. Don't, you know, we have to remember to be long-term thinkers. We shouldn't be buying little things that make us happy for a week and then you're like, I'm kind of over the shoes. Think bigger, <laughs> have a bigger dream. What's the big dream? To buy a house and own it outright and not have a mortgage. To go back to school and pay for your doctorate. To send your kid to school. To retire by the time you're a certain age. Those are big dreams. I don't want to hear about the little shoes. I buy shoes in Payless. Everybody knows and everybody thinks they're Louboutin because I act like they're Louboutin. But they're Payless. So that would be my second tip. My third tip would probably be go to your pain. Everybody, whenever I meet women, they go, I, this happened to me, that happened to me, but you can't tell me, you know, and nobody's story is worse than anybody else's because everybody has a horrible story. My pain is my business, okay? I created a very successful business in television because I knew that pain of being an immigrant child very well, and I turned it into making TV shows about that pain. If you're paraplegic, you should be able to build the best chair in the world because you know what's wrong with the chair. If you have whatever, you, you're not going to tell me something horrible enough that I can't figure out how to make a business out of it. So take your pain and let your pain be your guiding light to what you're supposed to do with your life. Turn it around. Turn darkness into light and have it make you money. Thank you, Nelly. This, we have one more question. This is for Alba. It's from Josefina from New York. Great. <laughs> so probably somewhere out here in the cold. Uh, wants to know... Uh, how many women do you believe that you will reach this year through the Adelante movement? Well, Josefina, first of all, it is an ongoing process. We feel we have a strong goals here in the U.S. for this year, and we feel that a minimum of 10,000 women. Mm -hmm. But we've sat it. Last year we did tremendously. We are on to our third year. And the beauty is that this year we will leverage the digital hub so through technology, we will be able to scale to and more. give many women the opportunity to take advantage of all the tools and all the uh, learnings that are available through the Adelante movement. Can I give Josefina a little sneak peek of what's yes. coming? Yes. Number one, Josefina, go on the website right now and sign up. You become <laughs> a member, you're going to get our blogs. We send newsletters and blogs out every week. We have some big things coming up. You know, we just announced recently we're doing crossover casting. We're helping connect Latinas to all the reality shows. So like chefs to, you know, real estate okay. people to real estate shows. Um, because I want all of you to have the life I've had. I've been on, you know, I've done Spanish TV. I've been, you know, I've, I've run a Latino network. But I can also be on Celebrity Apprentice and The View. And so can you. Don't think small. Think big. But also we have a new thing coming up. So I'm going to give you the sneak peek right now. We're starting a magazine online on the website and a television show called Rich Latina, living a rich life in every way. Rich in health, rich in family, rich in spirit, rich in money, everything. Because I, And we've interviewed all these incredible women that we've met along the way, these, really, these women of substance, to tell us why abundance is important. So go on the website. More to look forward to. So to become a member of the Latina movement, Adelante Latina movement, go to uh, adelantemovement.com, correct? And if you have any questions for Nelly or Alba that you want us to respond to after today's live stream, please email us at coke at newlinkgroup.com, coke at newlink-group.com. 
Thank you very much for joining us live from the United Nations in New York. Have a good afternoon.